Hey everyone, welcome back to QuantProf. Today we're going to solve an IMC trading interview question. Check the description for more quant interview resources. Let's look at the problem. We pick a number between 0 and 99,999 inclusive. We want the number to have no adjacent ones. For example, these numbers are valid. On the other hand, these numbers are invalid as they contain adjacent ones. So, what is the probability of getting a number where no two ones are adjacent? Pause the video here if you want to give it a try we will use recursion to solve this problem. First, let's count how many numbers have no adjacent ones. Let fn denote the answer for n digits. Suppose we choose the first digit to be anything other than one. There are nine ways to do so. The first digit can be zero or any number from two to nine. After choosing the first digit to be anything other than one, the problem reduces to n minus one digits. So this case contributes nine times fn minus one to the total. All right, what if the first digit is one? Then the second digit can be any number except one. One, giving us nine possible choices. In this case, the problem reduces to n minus two digits, and hence this case contributes nine times fn minus two to the total. So we have this recurrence relation. Note that if we had only one digit, we could fill it with any number from zero to nine. So f1 is 10. If we had two digits, the first digit could be any number from zero to nine, giving us 10 choices. Similarly, the second digit could also be any number from zero to nine, again giving us 10 choices. This results in a total of 100 possible numbers. However, the number 11 is invalid because it contains adjacent ones. Therefore, F2 is 99. Using the recurrence and base conditions, we calculate F5 to be 96,309. Our sample space consists of 10 raised to the power 5 numbers. So, the required probability is F5 divided by 10 raised to the power 5. Let's consider a follow-up problem. Again, we pick a number between 0 and 99,999 inclusive, with the condition that it contains no adjacent ones. What is the expected value of this number? Try to solve it on your own. Hope you like the video. If you want to learn how to solve these kinds of interview problems, we invite you to check out our course Quant Interview Masterclass, where we teach you how to think when solving difficult problems. We also cover the entire theory specifically tailored for quant interviews along with over a thousand problems. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Until then, Godspeed.